Hey guys, uh, wanted to talk to you very briefly. We talked about this during the live stream. Uh, I'm in the process of driving to the Kentucky Sustainable Homestead Homesteading Sustainable Living and Preparedness Festival in Bowling Green, <laughs> in Bowling Green, Green Kentucky. I've uh, I've hit the road. Uh, I've uh, drove it, driven all the way across the state of Virginia and into Tennessee, and then. Apparently the roads are impassable and where I want to go and Google has pushed me back up into Northern Virginia. I thought maybe you'd enjoy the views as we discuss the fact that our election may be, controversial topic, may be rigged. So as we discussed today in the live stream, if you missed it, you really ought to pay more attention to it. That's going to be Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern for one hour at least. We discussed the possibility of Captain Red Tie. If you don't know who that is, you should pay more attention to those live streams. Uh, never becoming president again because there is a plan in place that has been exposed to us, and they always tell us they always tell us what they're going to do. They always have a plan that they that they're telling us that they're going to do, and um, they, they'll do it if they get the chance to do it. Sorry about the bounciness. Uh, the road is a little bumpy in this area. I'm actually uh, headed towards the Cumberland Gap right now, uh, just past the Natural Tunnel Reservation, Natural Park, whatever, just trying to keep myself rolling. Anyway, so here's how it would go down. It's pretty simple. Captain Red Tie wins the election by 200 and whatever he needs electorates in order to become the next president or become the not the the president elect of the United States of America. Then what happens is is we lose some seats in the house, we lose some seats in the senate, they're able to take over and they decide they want to they want to say that they want to vote that Captain Red Tie is uh, you know a uh, uh, ah, what's the word I'm looking for? I'd put it in the chat if I don't if I don't figure it out myself. Wow, look at this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Anyway, they're, they're going to say that he's a bad guy. The name's going to come to me in a second. Uh, it's not treason, uh, but uh, it, it's uh, basically the 14th Amendment. They're going to try and enact that and say that he's not eligible to be the president anymore because of that. And then, uh... In half a mile, turn left onto US 421 North, US 58 West. Okay. Uh, and then, um... That will leave us, that'll lead them to, I believe, the 12th Amendment. And that means that the Congress, which is the House of Representatives in this particular case, will have the right and will elect the new President of the United States. Take However... Take left onto US 421 North, US 58 West. However... They have to take a vote on it, and that vote can only be for somebody who is. Um, Continue on US 58 West for 20 miles. All right, I'm going to shut her off for a minute. Uh, they can only vote for somebody who is uh, not uh, not a troublemaker, not a problem guy, whatever the title is. Damn, why can I not remember? Uh, they they tried to do this before. Um, it's actually happened three times. But uh, they're only allowed to vote for one of three candidates, and those three candidates would have to be uh, duly um, voted on. Wow, that's a kick-ass vehicle over there. Anyway, and so the only one that would be available would be Queen Blue Tie, if you get my drift. Now, there is another opportunity because J.D. Vance would have also been on the ballot that the people who wear the red ties in our Congress could vote for him. So there's a very good possibility that J.D. Vance could be our temporary interim or uh, basically the president of the United States until they get this cleared up. Now, here's the problem. It'll actually destroy the economy because the uh, <laughs> because people in the stock market do not wait for things to happen. They're they're pre-reactionary, and so they will get out of the market. They will sell things off. Uh, they will uh, get out of the way because they know that the crash will be coming. And so, what are you going to do? 
what are you going to do? Well, right now, all you can do is prepare your best as best you can. And how do you do that? The basics, water, food, and security. When I say security, that means the ability to defend yourself, your family, your home, and your stuff. So, make sure you're storing water. You know, don't play, don't play that government rule of one gallon per person per day. You should be looking at three gallons per person per day. No, as the minimum. And I'm here to tell you guys, for a family of four, that's 21,000 gallons or pounds of water. Not gallons, pounds of water. You will need for, for 21 days, for four people, you will need six 55-gallon drums of water. And if that's not feasible, then you need to have a water source that is unbelievable. And please don't tell me I've got a well, I've got a cover because wells run dry. If you don't have a backup power source for your well pump, you're not getting any water out of it unless you want to play the, the PVC pipe down the PVC pipe game and get it cup by cup. Food, 21 days, non-perishable food. That way you don't have to depend on rehydrating it and you do not have to depend on cooking it if you, if you, if you don't have to anyway. I mean, obviously everybody loves a good hot meal, but there's a lot of variables that are involved with that. Security, guys. You need to make sure you have the ability to defend yourself, your family, your home, and your stuff. You didn't make this pile so people can just take it away from you. And if you don't think the government won't try to take it from you, well, we'll just have to wait and see on that. Um, we're going back up into the hills. God, we just drove into the valley. Now we're driving, driving back up into the hills. This is pretty crazy that I'm being redirected off major highways. Okay, so I think that's going to be about it. Seven minutes to save your life. Make sure you know that the election is not going to be a good time and that it's not sim simply a, if they win, we're going to be mad. If, they, if we win, they're going to be mad. There are more nefarious plots out there. We just have to prepare them for them and hope that they do not happen. All right, guys, until the next time, stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.